went great. Uh, I've been preparing for this for three months now. I've been training down to XP and working with Mike White, so everything was used to. So I just continued went up there and grind and did the same thing we've been doing. Do you allow yourself to stop and think this is kind of crazy? You're working out for pro teams, and a few years ago you were just a walk on. Yeah, it really is crazy. It's crazy, but I feel like now that I have to put my stripes down, that I feel like I earned the spot now. So every day I go out there, I'm more hungry and hungrier, so that I do better every day. What's been your favorite part about this process? The favorite part about this process is just going to bowls and meeting other players and just the whole process. Like, the process is great. Like, it's, just, it's a lot of things you go through that you never knew you had to go through right, until you got there. So it's all a blessing. You mentioned the preparation. What have you been working on to get ready for this day? Uh, working on, I've been benching, running. It's working on hip mobility. I work on everything you need to work on, just mentally. I got to be interviewed every day. I have a great agent. Christina Phillips, who helped me every day and helped me build, and she continues to get me better. Have you changed your body some a little bit over the last few months? Uh, I changed a little some, yeah. I lost uh, more fat and just picked up more muscle. That's the one thing I was trying to do is just establish myself as a bigger tight end and be able to come in and be a legit 255. You going back down to Florida, what's the process now before the draft? Uh, the process right now is uh, I have a couple of visits lined up right now, so to Kansas City and the Browns. So right now I'm just headed to focus on them right now. And after that, uh, I should be training again, either going back to Florida or training at home. Are you going to be in Louisville for the draft, or do you know yet? Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be at for the draft yet. Gotcha. Do you have, a, I guess, a collection of family, friends you want to be with on that day? or? No, nah, I'd rather be by myself, for real. Just, <laughs> just be by myself and just focus and just, just keep myself humble. Was there some motivation for you, like, you know, playing well at the NFLPA ball, playing well at the Senior Bowl, and not getting drafted? Or not getting, uh, I guess, invited to the combine? Was that a little bit of motivation? Nah, I had to me, it's just everything happens for a reason. I played in the Senior Bowl coming off the walk on. Not so many people said that he did that. That's a blessing. So I took the good with the bad and just no combine invite, go to work. That's like, so what I do. Uh, March 3rd, if you got to see me. How much do you think that Senior Bowl invite and the, the week you had there really, really helped you? I think it helped a lot because it came out and showed that I can play with some of the best people and just it don't matter where you come from, you just come in and suit it up and play. Have you talked to some of the, the former Hilltoppers about what this process is like, guys who have gone through this a little bit? Yeah, I, I talked to a couple guys. I talked to Forrest and began the process. Diesel, Higby, I talked to a lot of them guys before the process and just told me, stay, keep working, stay hungry. That's the main thing, stay hungry, keep working.